Hey guys, so this is a follow-up to last week's video on uh, the intersection of third order motions and antihybrids. You guys will remember last week I had this breakthrough, which is triketra versus uh, kind of a triangle fractal flower uh, kind of place. Uh, I started playing around with this with other anti-spin flowers and made some really exciting discoveries. Um, Namely, I, I, I kind of came at this from a place of saying, okay, so, you know, you've got your triketra, and essentially the way those two pieces built together was that for every anti-spin petal I have of uh, my triketra, uh, that other shape generates two anti-spin petals, and, you know, what would be the third petal of a triketra then becomes a transitional device to get to uh, the next uh, petal of the inlaid anti-spin flower, right? So, this same pattern should apply whether I'm doing triketra as my base pattern, whether I'm doing a cat eye as my base pattern, or whether I'm doing a four petal anti-spin as my base pattern, right? Technically speaking, I can also make this work for five, six, whatever, how many petals you want to work with, but after a while it just gets complicated and ridiculous, but those three I think are at least a good basis to start with. Um, so, to that end, um, Beyond the triangle anti-spin, the next one I worked on was um, actually taking Zan's diamond and figuring out which shape would inlay inside of it. And the interesting discovery here is that whenever you have a third order motion laid out on top of an anti-spin flower, it turns out that the third order motion has, uh, it, it basically reverses the phasing of the uh, inlaid anti-spin flower. So for example, if I'm doing a triketra, wherein the point is pointed up, then the points in all of the triangles created by the third order motion will be pointed down. And likewise, when I'm doing Zan's diamond, it turns out that the pattern that's inlaid within this is a box mode for petal anti-spin, not a diamond mode. Zen's diamond, of course, working in uh, a diamond mode kind of place. So that winds up looking like this. And as more than a few commenters reminded me, this is actually a move that uh, both Koi Boy and Mel have demoed in their videos. Kind of rough, guys. I'm just going to give you a warning on that one. And of course, if we want to take this into the world of the very small, there is also one that works with cat eye, which winds up looking like a four petal anti spin, and which sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Um, these have all been heavily taxing on my shoulders, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys the best I can here. And of course, the anti-spin pedal in the middle, you have to perform it just about as slowly as you possibly can uh, and hope that your outside hand can catch up. So after playing around with those, I started toying around with the idea of doing in-spin instead of anti-spin flowers or third order motions around the inlaid flowers. These are even freaking harder because you've got your choice of whether you're going to say uh, have an extra beat for every petal that, uh, uh, that the inlaid anti-spin petal is doing and where the placement is going to be of those petals. Um, so for example with our Triketra example, oh boy, you wind up shaped like this. If I was going to put an extra petal on each of the triketra petals. There's also the option to uh, stick a petal on all the arcs of the triketra. This one's been kind of hit or miss all night. We'll see how it goes for me here. Ah. Um, the cool thing actually about that move is if I've modeled it correctly inside my grapher, it actually comes out looking like a triketra that it has an outline and a smaller core inside of it, which is a pretty nifty idea. Um, 
Yeah, so there's a lot of different facings of these, a lot of different possibilities. A lot of them are running up against the problem of exactly how much can we fit into a move and still have it be uh, clearly legible. But uh, yeah, for the time being, I'm really liking the possibilities of where these things go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to throw the images for all these up on my blog at drexfactor.com so you can come peruse them if you want and, uh, and play around with them. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great week. Enjoy playing with these. Peace.